Hello everyone, John Waffle H2P here again with another video. Today I'm going to give you a little synopsis of what AAU status is because a lot of people don't really know what AAU status is and they're saying they're applying, schools are applying for AAU status because they want to join the Big Ten, the SEC, blah, 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 blah. And that's just not how it works. Um, now, I'm not an expert at all with AAU, but I do know the synopsis of it. AAU is about money, research money in general. So the fact is the University of Alabama has a billion dollar budget for athletics. However, their academic research is not all there. It really isn't. It's probably in like a hundred million or something like that. Um, but as I'm scrolling through their website, these are all the AAU schools um, you can see, and these are all very good schools. Now, I mean, AU, I mean, it's not necessarily mean, of course, there's University of Pittsburgh right there. The Association of uh, American Universities is not about, uh, it's not about athletics. I mean, the rule is for the Big Ten, you have to be an AU member. However, Nebraska lost their AU status so, I mean, I'm not quite sure if that's necessary. And the schools that uh, someone on YouTube has been saying, Virginia Tech and University of Miami, um, those schools are not necessarily all there with research. I think Miami's close, but as of right now, not really. So um, looking at the measurement, Virginia Tech... I don't know where, where, why people are saying they're going there. They could, but I mean, I don't think they will because AAU status, I do know that most of the research is for medical reasons. All of these schools have great medical research programs like cancer research, like Alzheimer's, like a certain type of research. And yes, Penn State and Pitt are both two. AAU schools, the two public AAU schools in the state of Pennsylvania, along with, of course, CMU, Carnegie Mellon, and UPenn. But that's just where it is. I mean, you ha there has to be research. There has to be grants going into these schools to get in an offer. And the, op and the application is not just, oh, we're just going to apply and let's see, how, and they're just going to accept us. No, it's not like that at all. There ha each of these schools that I'm showing you right now has to verify the vote and actually want to spend money with the, this type of institution. The, if the University of Miami, for some reason, wants to join the AAU for football reasons, they're not going to join. I mean, it's just that. And it's <laughs> – I just don't know why people are on here, like, saying because of conference realignment that it, AAU means something because it really doesn't. I mean, well, it does, but, I mean – it doesn't mean anything to athletics. I mean, yes, the Big Ten wants AAU members, but, I mean, that's probably going to change. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if Florida State or Miami joins the Big Ten or in a few years. I, it do, I mean, I understand, like, why people are saying this, but for, like, Golden Blue Dude, I, I, I don't even like – I know he, like, clickbaits, but sometimes he's like, oh, I'm serious about this. I have sources and all that which kind of irritates me because he doesn't give some of these schools credit like Pitt. But at the same time, he doesn't even know what AU membership is. I mean, again, it's, it's really just for more grants, federal research. And yes, it makes you a top research. It makes you a top worldwide research university and it gets your name out there. But at the same time, it's not for athletics. Like half of these schools are not even funding athletics. Uh, Indiana University, for example, football, uh, not good. I mean, in their basketball, they don't even fund AAU for basketball. I mean, it, the American Association for Basketball. <laughs> um, 
I mean, yeah, they accepted the University of Utah a few years ago, but they have a hospital. They have a major hospital system. That's why they were accepted. Iowa State was at, at, Iowa State actually left the AU and because they didn't have no hospital. So, I mean, it's not because of their, they're in the Big 12 and they suck. No, it's because they didn't have a hospital and they didn't want to use research money on things they don't need. So they were, it, it was a business decision for them. So, um, my thoughts on this, I think, uh, people, before they start saying AU membership, some of these, uh, SEC people or people that don't even know what they're talking about, I think they need to do research before they start talking about the associate uh, association of American universities. Yeah. And for the record, I didn't really even know what AU w was until like t 2010, uh, so, yeah, that's that. I didn't even know Pitt was even an AAU membership, w was in the AAU. So, with that being said, guys, uh, I really don't have anything else to say. I mean, as you can see, like, I mean, I'll put the website in the link of this video to show you what I'm talking about. I mean, you can get a lot more information from this website than you probably will from me, but I, I know what I'm saying. I mean, they, they're not going to take athletics, especially the Miami football team. You think the Miami football team, they, they're going to want to fund the Miami football team? We're going to let Miami join the AAU because of their football team, which has uh, quite the history of being controversial. So, yeah, I don't – that's not what happens. I think – if Miami joins, it's going to, because they're a good academic institution, which they're heading up there, but they are a small school. So with that being said, guys, that's just my thoughts on this. I think people need to do research. And as always, guys, hail to Pitt, and I'll see you guys next video.